In the figure above, assume a frictionless, massless pulley system. Determine the acceleration of the masses once released from rest. So a lot of people kind of confuse pulley systems because they don't know whether to consider weight or tension as a factor of force. Well, basically, first, you gotta obviously write sigma f equals ma. And uh, you gotta, what I do is I only look at the weights of the contributing and non-contributing forces, such as uh, we gotta take like a direction here. For example, let's say clockwise is positive. I know not a lot of people do that, but for me, you know, I just see it that way. And now all we gotta do is just measure the weight of each of these blocks. So the weight here, obviously, uh, if you don't know, force of weight equals mg, so the mass of the block times the gravity constant, which is just 9.8. But let's see here. So we're not going to use any specific units because they're only asking for just the variables. And uh, let's do force of weight for this block. So we know it's 2m. So simply the force of weight here would just be 2mg. Now let's look here. This will be also 4mg. And these are both contributing to each other because if you let go, they will both go in a clockwise uh, rotation. And uh, we can see here that this uh, block, however, will try to resist that. So we can consider that to be a negative force. So we know it will push down here by itself to be just a simple factor of mg. Now, going back to the sigma f equals ma, let's see what the contributing forces are. 2mg and 4mg. What is it? So let's just write that down. 2mg plus 4mg. And now we got to see, is this adding or taking away from the uh, general motion? We can see obviously it's going away from it. So just simply minus mg equals the mass of the entire system. This is the entire system we're considering, not one block. So the force of the system, mass of the system, acceleration of the system. All these blocks will accelerate the same. So, what's the total mass? Easy, you just add up all the masses. 1 plus 2 plus 4 is 7. So we got 7 m, and then acceleration is what we're trying to find. So now let's simplify this. 2 plus 4 is 6, minus 1 is 5, so we got 5 mg equals 7 ma. Now we can see we got a common factor here, m. Cancel that, we got 5g equals 7a and there you go divide by 7 we got our answer a equals 5 sevenths g and you know you can consider g to be 9.8 or 10 depending on what the problem's asking but there you go we didn't even need to include mass or gravity itself we just solved for the factor of it so yeah basically to recap just look at the contributing weights and forces not the tension yet and using the acceleration, you'll uh, find tension, but that will be in a different video. So yeah, I hope this makes it simpler. Uh, if you have any questions, put it in the comments below and I'll try to help and uh, see ya.